What's up guys, Jules here, back with another video, just coming fresh off with the Her Loss review. Um, and today, I'm here to talk about the current state of my favorite artist of all time, my favorite rapper, Kanye West, or as you know him now, Ye. Now, 2022 was a wild year for Kanye. 2021 was a W year for Kanye West. He released Donda. Donda was an amazing amazing album my opinion even though it was bloated you could still feel the story of each song you could still feel the vibe of each song and everyone respectfully has their own favorite songs with highlights like don like uh off the grid praise god being probably one of my personal favorites on there off the grid too moon uh believe what i say being an iconic kanye west leak and just overall just a whole you know just a whole great album he dropped. Now, 2022, uh, we got a lot of things. We got the divorce with Kim. We got the release of Easy. We got Donda 2 having a crappy rollout, not going to lie, because all he did was post on Instagram and, you know, yell about Kim, which I do think personally he was right at first. But then later in 2022, it got way worse. Uh, to skim over what happened with the Donna 2 rollout, uh, he released it on a stem player. You have to pay $200 for it. It's whatever, but everyone online has been able to find it. It's really no, you know, debate there. People have been able to find Donna 2 on different files and different stuff, all of the above. Donna 2 being an unfinished mess of an album, but still had a lot of potential. Uh, Pablo being my favorite song and Pablo being the only song that I really go back to. Overall, I feel like Ye has changed, but still semblances of his old self remain. But later on this year, the stuff he talks about is just so offensive. And well, not this year, last year was offensive. And even though he was standing on his points and it's cool that he did that, the whole I like Hitler thing is not, it, it was not hidden. Seeing my hero destroy himself on literally a live stream with Alex Jones was just so bad because like dude Kanye truly is still my favorite artist and he still can make really good music I would say the best thing he did in 2022 was release that song someday we'll all be free the Donny Hathaway sample on Instagram it was such such a good song it was so short but it was such a good song overall Kanye West is just overall my favorite rapper of all time now currently with the state of Kanye West or Ye as we know him um he's currently just I guess you could say defamed uh Forbes said his net worth was down to 400 million Kanye West bank accounts got froze and just all of the above and I think truly he wanted this because if you see the stuff he was going through later on in the year, it was just so much. Well, not later on in the year, just past years overall, you know, and I don't blame him that he wanted his fame to be gone. Now he's currently remarried, actually, with a Australian uh, fashion designer. She's way better looking than Kim, by the way. Uh, she's actually all natural. Meanwhile, Kim is just plain plastic. But that's aside from the point. Overall, I feel like we should leave Kanye West alone and let him think to himself about his life and what he's going to do next in it. Truly, I feel like there is redemption for Kanye there, even though he's defamed now. He'll still go down as one of the best artists of all time. Now, recently, we're going to talk about a little mini controversy he got into. Um, so, basically, paparazzi... Hold on, there's a car. Paparazzi pulled up on Ye, and they basically were just at his game, even though they he told him to leave him alone, which I understand paparazzi is your job, but just leave Kanye alone. You guys already defamed him. You guys already got what you wanted. You're, you, guys already, you guys already got what you wanted. So, please just stop picking on this man and 
um, recently he pulled up back on the paparazzi and just said basic human rights. They had a back and forth. Kanye drove away because the guy said something offensive about his kids, which I definitely feel. Even though I'm not a father myself, I can still feel the perspective of just trying to be at peace with your kids without the cameras for once. Um, overall, and then a woman actually was driving near him, taking pictures of him. He stopped in the middle of the road, said to stop recording him. Lady kept recording him, something along those lines. And he grabbed the phone and rightfully so threw it in the street. At this point, just leave him alone. And then they're trying to say that he's gonna, they're gonna get him with a battery charge. Bro, just leave Kanye West alone. Let him chill, let him redeem himself, let him get the help he needs by himself. And please, Kanye, for you, this is a criticism. Please, bro, don't push away the people that care about you the most, whoever you have left. Please do not push them away. Push a T left, I know. You kind of pushed away Kid Cudi, but later on in the beef, it was kind of Cudi's fault because he kept egging it on. But dude, just please get the help you need. Try your best to reunite with the people that you may have wronged, yay. And please don't push away the people that criticize what you're doing because I will not lie. Some of your actions are very questionable. But as you guys know, Kanye West, I respect him for the art and not for the offensive stuff he's doing. Kanye will remain as my number one artist and there's nothing no one can do to change that. Jules out.